everybody, it's Monday. That means it's time for Movie Monday. And this week the topic was coming of age movie. This was a really fun topic because these are some of my favorite movies, are these coming of age movies. And as a lot of these I've talked about before, but these are just some of my, my all time favorite films of all time. So let's talk about my favorite coming of age movies. This is in no particular order, but the first one I'm gonna talk about is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I've mentioned this so many times on this Movie Monday series, but I love this movie so much. I just think it is so moving. You see this character uh, going through his anxiety and his, uh, and his depression and uh, the things that are in his past that he has to deal with and the, the way that uh, he m meets these friends and their interactions and uh, their journeys and how rich it is, how many characters have these journeys and how moving it is. I just, I, to me it was just like pure truth. I saw it three times in the, the week it came out. I love it and uh, it, uh, it is something where I felt like it could have been my friends and my high school and I really appreciate they got little details right. Like most high school movies, the parties are like way over the top. Not Perks of a Wallflower. The Perks of a Wallflower party felt like an actual party that I that I've attended. Uh, you know, it just it was just like hanging out in a friend's basement. You know, and that felt real to me. And I, I just I love the dialogue uh, that we accept the love we think we deserve. I, again, I just love the movie. So next I have Clueless. And this is the movie that was my favorite in high school. I just think this movie is so funny. I, I still just watch it and just laugh my head off. Uh, I love how they create these characters that would normally be kind of unlikable, but then they're r really likable. <laughs> Uh, with Sharon Dion, uh, you know, usually the popular kids are, are really awful, uh, but not not with them. They're just written with enough warmth, and uh, and uh, they really do care about people, uh, but they just also you know have all the superficial sort of trappings around them. But it really is just the script is so good, and the performances are so good. I have Mean Girls, and Mean Girls is. Uh, is very similar to Clueless in a lot of ways, but I think they're both really well done scripts. I think they're both really funny. Uh, but in this case, it, as opposed to the popular girls actually being nice, in this case, the, the popular girls are the mean girls. They're, it's a little bit more sort of standard in that way as far as the plot, but I just think it is so funny and you get to see kind of the, the what the Lindsay Lohan character sort of learns about friendship and about these people and about how she allows the people she's hanging out with to change her and I think that's really good. So there is there is a, a depth to it I think that's there but it's mostly it's just really funny. Uh, next up I have some kind of wonderful. Most people would have I feel like The Breakfast Club in here and that'll probably be on a lot of people's lists and it's a fine movie. I don't dislike it but I think that some kind of wonderful is better and I, I don't think as far as John Hughes films. I, I really like uh, this script and how you have these two characters that would normally be very typecast. You've got like kind of the nerd character uh, and you've got the popular girl uh, and both of these girls are actually like fleshed out real characters who I care about and are well written and I think the performances are really good. Uh, and I actually care about the lead guy, the lead boy, and he definitely has a coming of age kind of moment that's really good. And so I, I, I don't know, I think that, that is a, a, a really good underrated uh, coming of age story. Back and forth on this one, I could definitely talk about Your Name, I could talk about Moana, both of those are coming of age stories I really loved. I'm gonna pick is the movie that actually showed the literal coming of age of a character. I'm gonna choose Boyhood. I, I still absolutely love Boyhood. I thought it was incredibly moving to see this child uh, grow up. <laughs> I, I, 
I think it's a movie about the small moments of life and how uh, those small moments are the ones that really make a life. And whether it's the conversation with the with Mason and his photography instructor, whether it's his boss at uh, work, whether it's the many moments with his mother, I, I, I just, I love it. I think it is perfect. Uh, I, I know a lot of people, you know, hate on it, but I don't care. I, I love it. So uh, that is my favorite coming of age uh, movies. And uh, so let me know what your favorite are, put in the comment section. And if you uh, want, participate in the movie Monday. It's a lot of fun. And uh, she comes, Emily Boone comes up with a lot of really fun topics. Check out her channel. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye.